Today, we will talk about what is an oasis. An oasis is an unexpected water source located in the desert. This water provides the much-needed relief in the middle of the desert and allows for the growth of vegetation. This isolated vegetation is often how an oasis is identified. Animals often find shelter in an oasis as well, feeding on the surrounding plants and drinking the water supply. If the oasis is large enough, human settlements may also crop up nearby. Around the world, the Sahara Desert is home to some of the largest underground water supplies. Estimates suggest there are as many as 90 oases located there. However, the Sahara is so large that traveling between oasis sites can often take days or even weeks. Historically, this has caused oases to become important stops along trade and transportation routes. Oases provide a place to fill up on food and water supplies. Because of this importance, many political, economic, and military forces have tried to control the flow of goods and people into and out of oases. This control gives these groups power over the trade that comes into the area. How is an oasis formed? Oases are created when underground aquifers or rivers reach the surface of land. This can occur by natural pressure or by man-made wells. Scientists have also identified some thunderstorms as both the cause and source of some oases. Thunderstorms brings heavy rainwater that becomes trapped in the air pockets of a layer of impermeable rock, or the water collects in volcanic and subsurface faults and dikes. How do plants begin growing in the middle of the desert? This is where migratory birds play a critical role. Migrating birds are attracted to the water source as they make their way across the desert, while gathered at the site. The birds excrete seeds that they have consumed along the migration route. The stable water source allows these seeds to germinate, take root, and grow. Over time, these plants produce more seeds, and the vegetation continues to multiply within the confines of the water source. Humans and oases, because oases provide a fertile area in the middle of an otherwise infertile ground, humans have been attracted to these sites for hundreds of years. Once a settlement springs up at an oasis site, the people living there must carefully control water use. This is usually done via wells and irrigation systems. By irrigating the land, inhabitants are able to produce and harvest several crops, including cotton, olives, figs, dates, corn, wheat, citrus fruit, and apricots. Where agriculture is concerned, date palm trees are particularly helpful. This is because the date palms grow higher than other plants forming an upper layer that provides shade for the plants below. This shade keeps the sun from burning other crop plants and helps prevent the scarce water from evaporating quickly. Environmental threats to oases. One of the biggest threats to the oasis environment is actually its location. Desert sands blowing into the oasis water supply both pollutes the available water and fills the source. Too much sand around the crops can also reduce necessary nutrients in the soil thereby reducing the harvest. Additionally, overuse of water for irrigation purposes threatens the supply by reducing the water available for other uses. Date palm trees, previously mentioned, also help to prevent sand pollution. The community often plants these trees around the outer edges of the oasis to block the strong sand-carrying winds. Underground water sources, called aquifers, supply most oases. In some cases, a natural spring brings the underground water to the surface. At other oases, man-made wells tap the aquifer. In some oasis settlements, these wells might be centuries old and might have been diligently maintained for generations to preserve access to their life-giving water. Sands blown by desert winds threaten wells as well as agricultural areas and oases. Sand can destroy crops and pollute water. Communities have traditionally planted strong trees, such as palms, around the perimeter of oases to keep the desert sands from their delicate crops and water. Some of the world's largest supplies of underground water exist beneath the Sahara Desert, supporting about 90 major oases there. The Sahara is the largest desert on Earth, about the size of the continental United States. Though there are many oases there, traveling between them can take days because the desert is so vast. For this reason, oases in the Sahara and throughout the world have become important stops along trade routes. Merchants and traders who travel along these routes must stop at oases to replenish food and water supplies. This means that whoever controls an oasis 
also controls the trade along the route, making oases desirable to political, economic, and military leaders. Al Hassa, Saudi Arabia, has been an important farming area for the Arabian Peninsula for thousands of years. Today, it continues to be a leading agricultural region, producing dates, rice, corn, sheep, cattle, and eggs. The Al Hasa region also lies above one of the richest oil fields in the world, making the oasis an important center of international trade. Rivers that flow through some deserts provide permanent sources of water for large, elongated oases. The fertile Nile River Valley and Delta in Egypt, supplied with water from the Nile River, is an example of this type of large oasis. At 22,000 square kilometers, it might be the largest oasis in the world. Oasis, fertile tract of land that occurs in a desert, wherever a perennial supply of fresh water is available. Oasis vary in size, ranging from about one hectare, 2.5 acres, around small springs to vast areas of naturally watered or irrigated land. Underground water sources account for most oases. Their springs and wells, some of them artesian, are supplied from sandstone aquifers, whose intake areas may be more than 800 kilometers, 500 miles away, as at al Karaja Oasis, Charga, and al Dakila Oasis, Dakla, in the Libyan desert. Two-thirds of the total population of the Sahara are sedentary peoples living in oases and depending on irrigation. These areas have temperatures conducive to rapid vegetative growth. In all Saharan oases, the date palm constitutes the main source of food, while in its shade are grown citrus fruits, figs, peaches, apricots, vegetables, and cereals such as wheat, barley, and millet. For anyone who has ever been in a desert, you know how secluded, aloof, and lonely the landscape can be. An oasis is a place in a desert where water comes up to the surface from deep underground. Trees and other plants grow around an oasis and animals come to eat the plants, drink, and find shelter. Oases are quite intriguing to both humans and animals, and simultaneously are crucial parts of an ecosystem that can be found all around the world. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.